Hello, everyone. Hello, can you hear us? Did it not fuck hello, it up? Hello, hello, hello. I heard another another noise. Welcome to pain. <laughs> what? <laughs> Welcome to die. Welcome to 99 degrees and 90% humidity. Welcome. Welcome. Can you hear us? Please tell us. Ooh, do we want to change to the all Animal Crossing? Yeah, who cares? Yay, you can hear us. Did we did that one last time? I don't, I don't know. Doesn't it say? Yeah, we did that one last time. We got three three stars in the shell cup. Oh, let's go! Didn't we do this one? No, I don't think we did this we one. We started with Mushroom. Uh, some of these are... Nah, uh, you forgot the pre-show. Yeah, all, if you ever want to hear us before the show, come into the Discord that's voice right. channel, and that's where you'll hear it all. That's right. All the secrets. All I feel like we... All the secrets. We didn't... Did we? Are you sure we didn't do this one? Oh, hell yeah. That show is so good. You know what else is really good that you'll agree with me on? Batman the Animated ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -da. Series. Batman the Animated Series is so good. So, there, what was the uh, the other run called? The other run. Of, anim of the animated Batman. So there's like two... Batman Beyond. No, 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 no. There's like two eras of the animated series. Uh, Big O. Because there was Batman, right? At the end of, cause, yeah, Batman the Animated Series. Because I know there were t there's like two versions of Scarecrow. And so I know there's like two eras before Batman Beyond. Grunart Mark will know. Grunart Grun Grun Mark will know what I'm talking oh, about. Oh, he'll know. But it was still like uh, Kevin Conroy, like both of them. It was like the same. Uh, <laughs> knew you were going to say, say what? Oh, just, just the. I think about Batman the Animated Series. I think there's a little bit of a lag. Yeah, I think so. Um... Oh, yeah, but Batman Beyond is great. Trip long enough, it'll do purple sparks. I think we know. We know. We know M. Jack. I think M. Jack 95 is friend's husband. Nope. Close. No? They're not married. Well, close enough. Just living in like, sin. Close enough. Living in sin. They will. They will be married, if I have anything to do with it. <laughs> As God <laughs> is my witness! Let's anyway, get these two kids married. Uh, Grunar Malk, I was hoping you could... Uh, Illuminate. Shed some light on what I'm talking about. That's the, what I said, in a different way. The two, <laughs> the two runs of Batman, uh, the animated series. Thank you! Thank you. There is a big change in animation. And, like, I feel like there's a change in tone, kind of. Uh, it's just maybe the style of the place they're in. But um, I mainly know because of how different Scarecrow looks. I feel like we did this one last time. We might have. You might be right. We can exit out and do no, the No, it's next fine. One. We can do it. We're already here. <laughs> That's right. Get down in there. I go around basement. just marrying people willy-nilly. And they just think it's real. The marriage basement. I can do everything else in this basement. Marriages, bring them on. Bring them in here. We'll turn on the skull light. So, uh, <laughs> that's right. Um, the marriage toilet. So, I, we tried to get a house last weekend, which we failed Shame. at. Um, because the person offered, ca another person offered cash. In this economy? Cash. Cash. Um, so, we didn't get it. But we had some people look at the house. I only mentioned it because the toilet, because I was showing the toilet, and the person that was looking at the house was like, "Does that work?" <laughs> I said, "Yeah." And they're like, like, "Nice." And they're like, "That's so weird." <laughs> it's like, well, it's very convenient. I do use it, especially if somebody else is in the shower or something. Having I've another toilet is also important. used it. That's right. Tim used at it at the same time, and he never broke eye contact. You can't. Can't break it. I remember because I barely, I barely squeaked out the win on this one last time. I thought you were still talking about using the toilet. <laughs> like I barely, I barely squeaked, squeaked out the it pee. Out. <laughs> barely squeezed it. Oh my god! I'm just flying all over the place. Come on, stay there. Get him! Get him! Get him! Ah! So close. Barely squeaked out the pee. 
Um, do you remember my, my cool old big dog that I used to have yeah, and robot. then gave up? Yes. So I went to my parents' house last weekend as well um, and brought the, ah. brought the dogs, and they met each other, the robot and oh, the right. Barney and Ruby, and they got along swimmingly. Nice. There was no issues. It was super great. It was the best possible thing I could think of. He's, st- he's such a good boy. Such he's a good boy. Oh, he's so big and such a good boy. And he had a summer cut, so he was all shorn. No! I I really was so, like... No! Sarah was super concerned about, because Robot is so much bigger. He's like 75 pounds, and these dogs are like 25 pounds. Um... And she was like, oh, I don't know. And he was just so sweet. And they got along just fine. They were sniffing, sniffing butts. And <laughs> uh, so good. Sniffing butts? They were sniffing butts. Love a good butt sniff. The new yes, Batman. Yes, yes, the new Batman Adventures. Yes. Um, uh, I Scarecrow was my favorite Batman villain growing up. Batman. Loved Scarecrow. Um, and then I really appreciated Cillian Murphy's Scarecrow in Batman Begins. Yes, it was very deranged. Just what a great villain. Yes, we definitely played this. Because yeah. I played this. Yep, because I did the last one. Uh, whatever. You hogs, eat the slop that we give. <laughs> you hogs, what? <laughs> That's the audience. I'm telling them. <laughs> <laughs> for, for yeah, the, just... For the Content we slap it down oh, and you just, slop it up. Just eat the slop. Slop them <laughs> up! <laughs> slop them up! <laughs> Can I get a snake and a, a steak and a glass of water? Dogs can't possibly be as small as 25 pounds. They can, and they're very cute. Did you see how uh, Benji with Babish did sloppy steaks? Yes, I did. So funny. Slop them up! I was watching a TikTok where someone was like, I, I can't tell, like, whether people are being serious with the recipes or they're just doing it for the clicks. I think yeah. it's about a mix of both. God, darn it. Yeah, you got two bananas even. I know, and I got a sneeze in my nose, and I can't concentrate because it's right there. <laughs> that sneeze. Um, someone is making something, and they're like, oh, what you do is you, you poach a steak and then uh, use yeah. the steak water to like put it in vegetables, and it was just the most disgusting thing on planet Earth. I always like it's always like this 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 middle class lady like this this total soccer mom type fancy house lady and she's like I have a recipe your whole family ah, and she treat. gets out like a baking dish oh, and she's I know. like dry noodles Velveeta uh, and then she's like it, and then she's like now put it in the oven take it out crush up some graham cr- it's gonna be amazing put it back in and it's like. The video is like half an hour long for some reason. Oh, that's not on purpose. Yeah, it's like a million stupid steps, and it ends so unsatisfying. And it's like this was a waste of, of time. What are we What are we watching this for? I'm doing, well, I'm doing bad. Yes, the baking dish. The cook is white. Like there is no when they're like one pot meal, one dish. You don't have to season or pre cook everything. Just dump it oh, in. Oh, white people are allergic to spices. I saw like, one. It was like not even spicy stuff. Just spices. This was like one pot spaghetti. And they put, they put, God, cut up, bless America, like smoked sausage, cut up, and then like uh, dry spaghetti noodles, Come some on. tomato sauce, uh, some vegetables, and then covered it with water. Oh, I've seen the table nachos, which like, whatever for a big group, like maybe for a kid's birthday party, fun thing. But yeah, they're gonna get so soggy. Put the wet ingredients in a little bowl, little bowls. Oh, uh, one of the things that I get annoyed by with the like TikTok stuff is like people who are like, okay, let's combine it all, and it's like a bowl for like literally everything. It's like, why did you need to put that in a separate bowl? There's no reason for you to do that. You mean like when they're making the recipe? Yeah, they're like, um, we use some tarragon, and then we use like, oh, I, like yeah, they yeah, just yeah. put things like in little bowls. It's like, why, why? Because they, they they do the what's it what's it called when you prepare all that stuff? Um, Stupid. No, it's like. Uh, I'll I'll think of it. It's a it's a <laughs> it's a cooking term where you get all of your, your ingredients ready in little containers um, so that you can just cook fast. But sous. Sous, like a sous chef. I know, but there's a the sous does oh, it. Oh, it's called uh, cooking the new adventures. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
It's not like a Kuchiman or it's not it's not uh it's mise en place. Mise en place. When you get all your mise en place set up. Yeah. I think place. it's wasteful. Um it <laughs> I don't know. Exactly. I, when I did Hello HelloFresh, right know, after like the, I the cooking you. thing, it was so helpful to prep all that stuff ahead of time when you're trying to read a recipe and cook at the same time when it's like these steps need to happen. Oh, we French now. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's very helpful. Yeah, but I agree with like the. It gets no, a ton I don't think of stuff do. dirty. It gets a ton of stuff. Yeah, uh, it's extra work. Yeah. Um, first off, thanks everybody for joining the stream. We got a pretty full box tonight, which is great. But, I mean, it is helpful when you're cooking or baking or whatever to have stuff pre-measured and, like, ready to go. It is very helpful. Uh, it's just it's wasteful. <laughs> it's um, not wasteful. You're not wasting anything. You're wasting dishes. It's not wasting dishes. You're wasting dishes. you got to clean those dishes. Yes. And a true chef, do they measure? No. They know. They know it up here. You don't have to measure when you're cooking. Yeah. you got to measure when you're it's baking. It's a feeling. I don't always measure when I'm baking, though. <laughs> yes, that is the right amount of cheese, which is most of the cheese. Oh, yeah. You, there is no mini, there's there's no maximum to cheese. You can't have too much shredded, shredded cheese. You, there's no... You can't have too much of it because it all just disappears in the wash. <laughs> God. <laughs> um, no, I will die on the mise en place hill. No, nah, I'm going to mise en get the fuck out of here. Enough butter to kill an elk and enough salt to pickle God. Nice. I know Someone learned how to use the old squeeze box. I should have saved it, but uh, I got impatient. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I wanted to hit that surfboard. I am. So I am. I'm saying you shouldn't need to know the ingredients. I am not a good baker. I can bake. I can bake just fine, but I need <laughs> a recipe. And I will follow that recipe. Oh, yeah. And it will turn out good. I mean, if I'm making something I don't make all the time. I need a recipe. Um, if but I can't be like, I'm thinking about making brownies, and then I'm going to make them. There was a short-lived, short-lived show that Tim and I did. One episode. Oh, wait, two, if one, one, two second one's not edited. Where and it, I wasn't in that one. You weren't in that one. But it was like, here's a thing, and a picture of it, and then we recorded each other just trying to make it. So fun. It was fun, um, but it died on the vine. The, the one that's out there is pretty great. It's of Grunart Malk. It making uh, upside down cake, pineapple upside down cake that just tastes. another splash dash of, <laughs> of uh, coconut milk. Coconut milk. I think it needs a little more coconut it milk. It had so much coconut milk in it. It was. It was oatmeal. It was <laughs> edible. It was oatmeal. It was edible. It was. Um, it did not taste so much like a pineapple upside down cake. <laughs> we need more coconut milk. Um, no, I love baking, and I have been like. Uh, let's make brownies and just made brownies and they were some of the best brownies okay man. speaking of British baking show when they made brownies one of the most infuriating episodes anything American is infuriating they love pies let's make an American pie that's not pie it's not it was oatmeal there was uh, like the, the pie one really did piss me off because they're like chocolate and peanut butter when do those flavors go together and I'm like <laughs> Since for these fucking these mad Americans, these <laughs> chocolate and peanut butter, Aww. fucking Brits. <laughs> that doesn't really go together. Oh, the Mexican Week episode is a travesty. They're like, I made pumpkin pie. I chopped up pumpkin and put it in the in a pie shell. Oh, oh shit! Boy. Look at this thing. Yeah, nice. Sports coupe. I watched the Mexican episode, and there was just a lot of casual racism from the, yes. the UK contestants. But it wasn't so as weird. it wasn't as um, culinarily offensive. Culinarily, yeah. As when they made s'mores. Oh my god! They were like this tall, marshmallow with a little thin thing and, of chocolate. And even like the judges were like, "This is how you do it." And it's like, "You motherfuckers have <laughs> never been around a campfire." <laughs> Not how you do it. Like a s'more, that it should be the slop. Like it should be. You <sighs> pick it up and oh, it s'mores should be, everywhere. It should be burned. It should be Hershey's. It shouldn't be chocolate. <laughs> These graham crackers should be. Barely together. You don't make the like. You, it's gotta be yeah. <laughs> but they were just so tall. Oh, they were like this much marshmallow, and you're like, uh. and they're like perfect. <laughs> this is how you do it. Use a browning torch. Now that's a s'more. Yeah. Oh, I just put a little browning torch around the edges. They just and finish. they made they made the marshmallow. It's like they should yeah. be from a bag, from a and bag. they should be stale. And you should be kind of drunk when you eat it. Oh my god, one or two or three. <laughs> Yeah, you can, 
But one, nah. <laughs> stale. Yeah, yeah, yes, exactly. Stale graham crackers, pre-melted and then re-hardened chocolate. The, the marshmallow should be from the last time you said, we should have s'mores. And it that should was be from one, the last time you said, we should have s'mores. One big marshmallow you'd chip apart. <laughs> yeah. And the graham cracker is like the bag was open from a year ago, but oh, yeah. pulled it over. And you need to be tasting a little bit of stick goo. <laughs> A little ash. Yeah, a little, little bit ash of ash in there. Oh, I love my marshmallows on fire. <laughs> yeah, you get it nice and warm, and then you burn it. Yes. It's freaking Brits. I want it, I want the Great British Baking Show with one American dude. I wish they would. On every episode. Or just when they do the, the different country episodes, bring in a guest baker from that country to, yes. uh, to do the same challenges and interpret them in their way. I, and I, I kind of want it to be as... Uh, like a blindly. Not high stakes. Because American oh, cooking shows are yeah. like, and we put nails on the floor, now cook. Okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, Cutthroat kitchen. Yeah. We have the sword of Damocles high, hanging over your mother's head. Now cook. You have 20 minutes. No, Americans. Make no, me I, a burger. I want an American on the American. Or like at least separately, they don't know about it, have someone from that country doing all the challenges alongside them, and then they can bring them out as a surprise. Like, here's what I actually did. I actually made an American pie. Like, the, the pies, I was offended. I was like, those aren't, uh, they're like, Americans, like, love pie. They're always making pies. We are always making pies. But American pie is, like, sweet dessert. And they're like, what do you mean a dessert, a sweet pie? How does this, what do you yeah. mean? Because British pies are like, meat and <laughs> potatoes. Hey, do you like eel and jelly? <laughs> yeah, that would be, Yes. So great, because I know what the British mac and cheese would look like. Oh, a travesty. <laughs> oh, we tra use something called pea wet, and it, we put it on the mac and cheese. It's delicious. Oi, wife, where's the yeah. rat paste? <laughs> <laughs> Bovril on wheat, my favorite. <laughs> A little mold on your turkey is good for a growing boy. <laughs> These are all Cal Gordon impressions. Where he's like, uh, we don't keep our meat in the fridge. We like our beef a little warm. <laughs> <laughs> he's the planet of the base. <laughs> oh my God, everywhere. That that song just, I mean, I'm over it now. Women because are I've heard my it, favorite guy. I mean, that's a good line. But so I'm funny. so, it's so everywhere. And I've heard it a Lies, trillion times. It never die. Women are my favorite guy. Dex, I'm wanting more. Tell the people, stop the We're war. We're going to get content id <laughs> No, it would be so funny. I want that absolutely would be an so exasperation unkind. partner challenge on the Great British Baking Show. We're so listen, a little bird with a knife. Poop, 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 poop. It's a bonanza. A bonanza? Yeah, England is like a country I have like very little to no desire to visit. Just, just I'm, I'm like, I really enjoyed myself I'm when good. I was in London. It was a really There's fun so many time. countries in Europe, why I gotta go there? But you can get pre-made sandwiches and you can get that uh, in an airport. Tins of G and T. Well, yeah, but <laughs> now that I got finished long drink, do I even need that for real? I wish it wasn't so expensive. You finished that whole long drink. <laughs> but um, cheese. Da da da. Oh, woo! Yeah, finished long drink is really good. I haven't had it since. Uh, since so we rewired the car? Yeah, which stopped working since. Oh, really? Yeah. We were using it, and I think it overheated and stopped working, and then it never started again. We are trying to go through a beach. Okay. I've been playing a lot of uh, Super Smash Brothers Melee. Melee! Uh, there is a... A couple years ago, somebody reverse engineered the game and they made it so you could you like have rollback online on PC, which is it's just a, a thing that I can't even believe that an no. amateur like person did. That's so fucking no. crazy that they put rollback in the game. I don't know what that is. Um, it's a way of making that code so it feels like you're local. It, it like hides the latency and the, the effects. Uh, 
uh, Brawl has it. Or Brawlhalla has it. All right. Um, it just makes it feel real, real good. Um, Melee is a super fast game, and I'm enjoying it. And I'm not as bad as I thought. And I'm making a lot of people rage quit, which is nice. annoying, but also really fun. Oh, I like to do uh, that. Happens to me in Brawl all the time. It's so satisfying when they say disconnected. Yep, <laughs> so great. Yeah, Red Thirteen. So there was somebody uh, in Tark. Uh, the Kirby school. is absolutely a top tier. He's character. not. I know, but <laughs> but but he is. Um, Jigglypuff, uh, Marth, and heart. Fox. But there was a person I remember getting my ass handed to me because somebody on our floor, like a floor below us. Uh, which, if you don't know, Red Thirteen was also on my floor uh, when we were fresh. Uh, we were freshmen. Um, they came to our room and just bodied us. Yeah. Absolutely tore us a new one. I didn't know that people could be so good at Smash Brothers until I couldn't land a hit on the fellow. That's rough. So my my roommate in college was like really good at Halo. And, uh, <clears throat> like, he was actually legit really good. Um, I, I want to say something, but I don't want to just one-up your story. <laughs> it's okay. But, anyway, my story is one time I was like, all right, let's play just swords. Because I was pretty bad at Halo, but I was really good with the sword only. Halo 1 or Halo 2? It's got to be Halo 2, right? Halo 2. Yeah. Yeah. So I started playing him, and I was really hitting with the sword, like, because I had the timing down. Like, I knew exactly when the red kill would turn red where you could get that kill shot with the sword. It's kill shot. And his whole thing was grenades. It was. It was, like, just swords. And I uh, I just destroyed him, and he got so mad, he, like, quit, got real quiet, stopped talking to me for, like, a couple days. Um, it was pretty satisfying. Anyway, what was your one-up story? So, my roommate freshman year... <laughs> my roommate? Well, that's where I said I didn't want to, but, like, my my roommate freshman year um, in that same room, uh, Halo 1, he was uh, one of the best players in Halo 1 in the country. Um, he, like, went to tournaments and, like, competed. And, that's cool. Yeah. Still is. Still does, like, a, a yearly thing where, like, he'll go play Halo 1 on the beach. Um, I don't know. It's a thing. Okay. Uh, but, yeah, he was ridiculously good at that game. He, I remember the, they, they changed the game now. People modded it, but he used to have an egg timer and he'd be like, okay, rockets are up at this time. Like, Oh, geez. Yeah. And they'd like r grenade rockets to themselves like across the stage. I'm like, I can't even play. Like, I, there's nothing I can do here. Right. So another friend of mine um, wasn't like necessarily really good at Halo. He just played a lot. and um, He came over to play and we did a little LAN party with between our two rooms so two of us in this room two of us in this room and uh oh yeah <laughs> mess his bat get his ass misspelling it's great when you when you hit with with the bat um but i was like really sniping him because that was my whole deal in halo like you know get the um assault rifle with the or the battle rifle and the with the noob combo but just getting battle rifle and getting good at headshots was was really important. But I kept sniping him from across the map with the sniper rifle whenever he'd show up. I just I was like gunning for him only. The sniper rifle. Which maybe was mean. But then I, I realized he like wasn't playing anymore. He just was standing still and I'd kill him <laughs> and he'd pop up and stand still. And I went to the next room to find him and he had left. Oh, he, like, he just went so home. Quitted. Yeah, he went home. I've never been that mad at a game. He was so mad. I've been like pissed, I've been I cursed, I do all that, but like Never to the point of like, didn't say bye. Fuck this game. I'm out of here. Just left. Uh, throwing of controllers happened a lot. I got my brother a Nerf controller because of it. They Nerf made I PlayStation never, 2 controllers. I never thought That were like encased in, in soft Nerf stuff in the foam. And I got it for him because he would always throw his controller. I care too much about my things. I would never throw a controller. Right. Yeah. You never run on a barge. <laughs> Grizzly Adams did have a beard. <laughs> I don't know. I'm feeling. I'm feeling feisty today. We played. I think we did this one already. We might have. Like I said, I don't know which. I, I kind of forgot. It's been two weeks. Yeah. Three for like a month. Can you see which ones we have gold on, or we we want to do them all? We do not have gold on this one. Oh okay. Oh no. But yeah, it's um. 
It's kind of crazy that uh, we knew a lot of like top top people. Red Thirteen, that person that bodied me in Smash with Fox had a custom controller, and that's when I knew I was in for some deep shit. <laughs> he had a controller that was like oh. customized for him. Oh no! Come on. That uh, had like an engra- a literal engraving um, on it, and I was like, "Well, I'm I'm toasted, very yeah. sweaty." How'd he get up there? He knew things I didn't know. Yeah, oh, uh, uh, Kava. Show. Is that you're talking about? Oh yeah, Kava Akbar. Yep. That is a very renowned poet. Yeah, I, had I, remember, a, I had to step over that guy, student teaching. <laughs> I remember being at parties when he was blasted out of his mind. Yep. I had, I had to, like, uh, avoid him in the kitchen when I was trying to wake up early to leave the, the apartment to go to my job. And he would try to corner me and talk to me about, like, philosophy and life and stuff. And I'm like, you are <laughs> so high for six in the morning, yep. my man. <laughs> my dude. I remember, I think uh, John Green like had some poetry thing where that was the first time I saw like Kava on a video. I'm like, that can't be the same guy. And it totally was. Totally was. I, I just, the atmosphere in which Dang, I met I this person, I was way. like, eh, no way, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, John, yep. There you go. Mm. Well, I'm not doing great because I made a couple mistakes. He doesn't remember my name. I. I cannot be the bad memory he writes about because I made no impact on this man's life. You're you're being told to drift. Thank you. You're being told to get good. I just like hit a couple of bad things that stopped me. Yeah, we still got first. Yep. I know he remembers me. One time I saw him um, quite a ways after college. I don't remember. He was like back in town for something. And I just happened to run into him. Maybe it was a starry night. Maybe it was like a um, high school girl show or something. But um, I've never read one of his poems, actually. Uh, but he, he, we talked for a little bit. He remembers who I was. And I, that was fine. There's just no way he remembers me. That's what he would say to you. That's probably what he would say to me. Is get out of here, fucking bug. We don't have a gold on we here. Didn't, we didn't do that one. How did we not? Do we have a gold on here? What's we have a gold. Three? Oh, maybe we did do that one. Gold. But it's just the we don't have Triforce Cup. Or lightning, right? No, we have oh, gold we there. Oh, what are the three stars? Just we did a great. I think it's just like a really, like you hit all of the first place oh, yeah. places. Oh, okay. yeah. All right, try force it up. I would be, um, I would be impressed if he watched this stream the whole time. I have a feeling he does not sully himself with such low class rubes such as ourselves. This was in Mario Kart. We, yeah, man, I remember it. We babs. Any town, USA. Yeah, we're not from any sort of individual state. Any we're, state. We're from a place. We're from any of them. Place called town. I get really indignant when people make fun of Indiana. I will make fun of Indiana all day long and talk about how bad it is. But if somebody from another place starts making fun of it, I get real ornery. Uh, it depends on the place. Ohio, you got no room to talk, buddy. Yeah, like, that's the same. It's not the same. It's worse. Sure. Secret Ohio. It's just, like... There's a lot wrong with Indiana. There's a lot wrong with Indiana. But there's like nothing wrong with it. <laughs> oh, there are definitely no, is. I'm, but like <laughs> it could be worse. Like I like. Here's the thing: there are people in this state that are not in other states, and that's what makes it good. 
Well, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. God bless it. No, I mean, like, yes, there's a lot wrong with it, but, like, it's not Florida. It is not Florida, which is, like, I think true for everybody. Like, everybody can say, we're not Florida. We're not Florida, man. Like, you want to feel a little bit better about yourself? You go, well, and you're not Florida. Like, like our, our governor definitely kind of sucks, but also... He's not Ronald D. Santos. He doesn't suck every time. He sucks most of the time. Correct, but sometimes he'll surprise me in, in doing something that, like, doesn't suck. Yes, but he is also termed up, which means the next person sure, is going to be yeah. a more... It's going to be a psycho. But, like, when Pence was in power... Worse! Pence? So much worse. So much worse. I knew that no matter what this big decision he was going to make, there was some sinister ulterior motive behind it. He cut health care and yes. ignored an HIV outbreak in the state. Yes. No, I'm, I'm not saying Pence was good. No, I'm just saying for the audience. But then the current, current governor, uh, when he does something... I don't feel that he is just like a mouthpiece for the far right. You know what I mean? He's he's a conservative, but he's I don't think that great. he's not like a conspiracy theorist or like. No, but he has signed and talked about all the anti-trans stuff. Like he's no oh, he's no friend. Of absolutely, anybody. he's horrible. But sometimes he does a thing, and I'm like, all right, so like, ah, you're like a conservative, like uh, like a normal grandpa, not like a frothing rabid will do anything that comes out of Donald He Trump's has vetoed mouth. some things in the past. I, that is as far as I will go. That's what that. I mean. Like yep. he, he's he's said some things that are like he's like this doesn't make sense just like common sense people like this doesn't we're not going to do this. That doesn't excuse him or mean that I like really appreciate everything he's doing. Tell me what you like about Holcomb. I don't know. Tell me how he's your best friend. Just the things. <laughs> he's your best friend. <laughs> yes, exactly. That's what I mean. What what Nervous Hair said. New Rainbow Road. We know how you did on the last I'm really road. glad that I play all the hardest ones. I like, will ease, I will play this. Why am I doing the hard maps? Because I'm not a Nintendo boy. It, because, it, first off, you definitely are now. And secondly, it's because... You can fight our hardest battles <laughs> because, because you're our strongest soldier. <laughs> I'm the best of us. I'm the Katniss to your PETA. Hey, PETA! Hey, PETA! Hey, there what? was no fucking way you were going to make that. Well, I assumed I was going to get a, a... You need a mushroom to take the shot. I pack. thought I was going to get a <laughs> little jetpack thing. You... you. I've never played this We map. were talking about basketball before the, before the stream started. You... Took a jump shot from half court and thought you were gonna make it. I thought I would get a hang glider. <laughs> I guess we don't just get those <laughs> anytime we're in the air. Which, by the way, did any of you play sports when you were in young youngness? Organized. When you sports? were in youngness. <laughs> Like in like middle school, elementary school. You know, school. when you were in the youngness. <laughs> Did you sports when you Hop, were really in the hockey? Youngness? Hockey, red wow. Team. Like field hockey? Or like roller hockey? Ice hockey. In this any state USA? Well, Red 13 didn't grow up in any state USA. Uh, I guess you're right about that. I'm surprised. Like ice hockey, that's like a serious commitment sport when you're not in Canada and it's subsidized. <laughs> ice hockey, you hockey. Um, I played roller hockey with my cousins. Roller hockey with my cousins. You got this, girl. Yes! You broke the curse. Swap up, watch you. We we talked about basketball because I played basketball for like five years. Oh, we talked about it because I was like, I don't like basketball. Yeah, Tim doesn't like basketball. No, I basketball's fine. Um, to like for people, I don't like have a <laughs> thing. People. I don't have a <laughs> thing against basketball. I'm just not a like good at basketball. Um, it's fine for people. It's fine for people. <laughs> um, it's, you know, it's a uh, it's good. Well, good. Love that ball and people can it. Uh, play a sport, you know, if they want to, and that's fine. 
rather, I don't know, make a home cooked meal and eat it. My only sport is friendship. Yeah, I'd rather make friends than play basketball. Look at all these basketballs. No, so like I've always, I've always felt like I am competent enough and just athletic enough that if I was in a group of people and they were like, you know what, we're all, let's all play a sport together, no! that I'd be like, all right, I can play this sport with you, and I won't be, and I won't embarrass myself. Like I can, I can participate in sport. You know, but yes, I was definitely more of a band kid. Didn't having been in band for my entire high school kid. career. Never Loved it. it. Loved Don't band. know how to play any instrument. I know how to play two. But although it would be difficult now, I think. Here's the thing. Um, yeah, I know. I I can play sports if I want to. You know, like. <laughs> I would absolutely sign up for a teacher versus student dodgeball game. I don't just fucking bean these kids. Because there aren't like there isn't like a dodgeball team at school. Like I'm not gonna go up against kids who play dodgeball all the time. I did it, uh Tecumseh oh. Tecumseh. The middle school where I used to work, they had uh, a dodgeball tournament and teachers could sign up, students could sign up. So I had a team with a few other teachers. We were called the we were called Ranger Danger, which I think is just the greatest name for a team because we all bought Power Ranger shirts. I was a Black Ranger, and I bought everybody Power Ranger socks and Power Ranger armbands. And we were Team Ranger Danger, and we made it to like third place. The uh, administration team beat us out. The principal of the junior high that I worked at was like a dodgeball beast. He was incredible. Uh, and then a, I think a student team won. Like they were just really athletic, but uh, it was super fun. I didn't get first. The thing is, like regular dodgeballs are so hard to throw. I think the big ones, oh, yeah. like the kickball size ones, they're so hard to grip and throw the way I want to. But when I was in high school, we had the smaller ones. The same type of ball, but small. Oh, you could whip those. Did you play pinball ever? Like like a pinball? Caitlin Bryan's here. Hey, yo. Uh, no, pinball is Soft like balls. dodgeball, but you have five bowling pins in the back. So <laughs> you said bowling balls. <laughs> what? Bowling it's dodgeball balls. with bowling balls? <laughs> with bowling pins in the back. And... You can another way to win beyond just getting knock everybody five out over. is knock five all. That's cool. No, yeah. I never played that. I like that. It was a it was a lot of fun. It Medicine was like another balls. strategy. I, I played intramural dodgeball in college, and I'm not uh, upset about it. It was really fun. I, we we went to the championships. We came in second. I think the best fun game to play that we haven't played because nobody will play with me is racquetball. Racket <laughs> I love racquetball. I'm it always is, trying to get you to play. You don't even start with me. <laughs> I love racquetball so much. It's so fun. It is probably one of my favorite sports of all. Oh my god. Honestly though, the reason we don't play racquetball very much is our schedules don't line up very well to play it. They do not. Because like that's why I need to find someone who does. I'm not the problem. I will go early in the morning. But you want to go like all the way across town. Where else would we play? <laughs> Why? I'm up for it. I don't belong to the Korek anymore. Oh, really? Yeah. Maybe next summer. Exactly. I am not the problem. No, I'd play if we if like we made a uh, an appointment, a commitment. You know. Oh my I'm, god. I'm down. Oh, yeah, I belong to. What the heck? Vasa. Oh. Vasa Gaim. Oh, every time. This is the second time I've been hit trying to jump this gap. Just got to get good. I don't know if the Red 13 would play racquetball. Right, play. Oh, my God. I'm down to play racquetball with whomst ever wants to wants to play racquetball. 
Oh, oh man. Gosh. Oh, this is embarrassing. It's not embarrassing. I'm playing on maps I've never played on before. Yeah, this is super embarrassing. Yeah, my little brother called me. I can't, you know, all these excuses. Watch I'm out. In second place. I Shut up! <laughs> I said, watch out. <laughs> no, no, I didn't realize it would last so long. <laughs> I thought I was far enough behind him. Oh, I do not like pickleball at all. I love pickleball. No, I hate it. It's just small tennis. It's not small tennis. It's it's table tennis that's easier. It's big table tennis. It's 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 easier than table tennis. At least in table tennis, you have to like hit the table. Oh, I had itchy nose. Oh, right. that's right. You do know. Table tennis is great, too. I play ping pong all day. Ping pong's great. All day, son. Love ping pong. Oh, no. Stupid. Oh, I'm oh! second. Oh! Wow. Boom. Wow, clutch. Boom. That was clutch. No, I like pickleball. Pickleball's fun. Tennis is fun, too. By the way, um, you can give us a call at 765-213-PLAY <laughs> at any old time and talk to us. You can put your voice out there. You're going back to New York tomorrow. But the school year just started. Home state of New York, even. You're, are you just going for the weekend? It's not It's not the home state. No, it is. It's not, it's not the home state. It is. No, it's New York. That's their home state. <laughs> What are we watching this video because for? it's the first time we <gasps> we did this oh you should go back to your home now how the hell am i supposed to marry you two if you keep leaving the state they're going to a wedding incidentally oh their own wow i can't exit out of it, it won't let me. <laughs> i'm hitting all uh, the buttons i don't like that not only being a prisoner to credits. Yeah, that's right. The first time I ever played a game and I could fast forward through the credits, I was like, this this is the way it should be all the time. Um, Your husband will tell you all about why I'm marrying you. Yeah, you missed everything. Yeah. I love that meme from Mario Kart 8 where it's uh, Luigi like oh, yeah. passing you by and he's just pissed. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi sends his regards. <laughs> you can I, drive Mario Kart for real. Just get a go kart. There was um. <laughs> I, can't, I can't look. I'm hitting all the buttons. Look at that little baby Mario. Also, welcome, locks bags. Locks bags. Um, we were just talking about Barbara Bar Barbara. We were. We were talking about the school that you attended that had, or maybe it wasn't when you attended, but it was in town that had Bar all of the football players that uh, like grabbed all of the football all players. From Bar Bar from Bar 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 Nicky Nicky Bar 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 Bar. I can't. Skip the credits. <laughs> yeah, that's rough, dude. Da Bears. Oh, Da Bears. Da Bears. Chicago. Well, yeah, because the Bears uh, did their do practice, or they did uh, practicing there. They, I don't know if they still do anymore. So anyway, they're leaving ever, Chicago anyway and going to Arlington Heights. Fuck them. Do you ever watch uh, Matty Matheson's recipe videos? Maybe. He's a, like a real big guy. He's got a, tons of tattoos. and must, He's on The Bear, the show. The Bear? He's on oh, The Bear. Oh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, he, he was making a, an Italian beef sandwich, and he... The, I love when he does recipes that, like, he uses things that everyone uses. Like, he was making nachos. He's like, just use a, the shredded cheese. Like, that's what I appreciate. It comes in a bag. Just get the bag <laughs> from the store. He does that stuff. Like, he's a legit chef, and he's... Anyway, he made this Italian beef, and uh, he made his own, like... He kept he says jardinieri. We're gonna make a little jardinieri. Jardinieri, God, the, jardinieri is so put good. Put the jardinieri, so good. Jardy. He's on the bear, yeah. But then he took it. He was like, they get a little dip it, and then he took a bite. And he always like is kind of gross with the eating, like after, just like. Rah! But he took a bite. and He's like Chicago. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> and he's like, is this as good as Chicago's? Oh no, it's not. I'm not gonna say it is, but it's good enough for me at home. Jardinier, a little. A little a little, little jardinieri. A bright green relish. Oh, yeah. A, a bright toxic green, green yes. relish. 
Look no, like, looking like Nickelodeon Gak. I love buying a bunch of Jardinier and putting it in my salad. Can we talk about how Nickelodeon has a thing called Gak? Maddie and that is definitely a, a drug I'm name. sorry, we say it again? What's the drug name? Gak. Oh, Gak? Yeah. Um, Nervous Hair, is that true at Three Floyds, like in where, Indy? Three Floyds is in Munster. Oh, that's what I meant. Yeah, M- M- Munster. The brewery? And they said the Dark Lord's Day or whatever? Dark Lord's Day, yep. Hey, hey, Locks Bags, you can make Italian beef at home. Um, you can. Uh, yeah, if you had gak, you could do little fart, fart noises. Little fart noises. Uh, I always liked phloem better. Phloem was wild. Phloem was great, and but it dried out and it didn't work anymore. I loved watching those credits. That's great. <laughs> oh, we're gonna play more. I figure we got one more in we us. We got one more in us. Chicago! He's Canadian, right? Maddie, Maddie Matheson? I think he's Canadian. But he seems like he's from Chicago, and I think that's because I watched him on the bear. Bear, 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 bear. Dumb old KS. Trump Mago just dropped. Oh, oh shit. Oh, no. Are not. Flom? Oh, go get out of here. Flom is not as good as Gak. Uh, I preferred Flom as a kid. Dumb old Texas. Mugshot, mate. Oh. It's not the same as it's, dumb old it Texas. It's the way that you think it would look. He's like, yeah, it's... He's trying... I'm so stern! I wanted a gross, a stained white t-shirt. I wanted a Gary Busey mugshot. I wanted it all or nothing at all. The Jots. I, my parents always let me experience the Jots. Listen, what isn't a term for that? What do you mean? Oh, Matt. Yeah. What? 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 I have to focus. I'm having a gamer moment. <laughs> oh, Locksbags, how was uh, Mutual Friend's wedding, who I didn't get invited to? <laughs> mutual Friend. <laughs> but I didn't get invited to. How was that? Oh, how does it fucking feel, Tim? <laughs> I didn't know <laughs> how you. How does it feel? Fucking feel. You know what? It's Locksback's fault that you weren't there. It kind of, it kind of is. Honest. It's kind of just ignoring my question. <laughs> it looked magical out there in New York. Although I don't think I would have been able to go anyway. Oh, that neutral friend. Yeah. That neutral friend. Did you say mutual or neutral? I said mutual. I thought you said neutral. <laughs> So <laughs> the <some> Switzerland <laughs> of friends. <laughs> Something I think about all the time. I think about it all the time. Is when we were in college and we went to play. God. We went to play laser tag. And mutual friend was there. Mutual friend. And you know, laser tag is a non-contact sport. Yeah, I guess if you don't play it right. It should. Be. <laughs> so we were playing laser tag, and he came around the corner, and I instinctively jerked my hands up. And I smashed him in the face <laughs> with my laser in the teeth, right in his teeth, Ooh. with a laser tag rifle. And I have been thinking that's that why you didn't get invited. Perchance, that's the co- cause of. Uh, yeah, that's why you didn't get invited. Yeah. Oh, I gotta scratch my nose. Smashed him right in the teeth with it. It was bleeding. It was blood in the in the black lights. Who <laughs> was it? Fluorescent? <clears throat> um, no, but his, his teeth were. And then you could see the blood. Why? That wasn't even first place. Wow, locks back. Wow. Did I do that to you too? I have a problem. Out of my way, nerds. I have a problem with reflexes. This is why people shouldn't. Wow, mess with me how on did I streets. pull that out? I don't oh know how. Oh my you just god. Got that. that was a gamer moment. Wow, gamer moment. <laughs> oh, gamer, gamer moment. moment. Locks bags, it was your fault because we just started talking when Tim was having his wedding. I could have been a plus one. What's great value I could have been a contender. Friends. What is great value brand friends? Did you pick out people who looked like your other friends? Remember at your wedding when uh, somebody said, oh, Mary, how embarrassing. That lady wore the same belly as you because there was another <laughs> pregnant lady there. And he really wanted to say, this woman's going into labor. I'm a doctor. This man's dead. (laughs) 
Vroom, vroom, vroom. I remember having a lot so fun at Locks Bags' wedding. Okay, all right. Better get out of the rough. Oh, one ball paw with two balls. <laughs> Uh, anytime I meet someone named Paul, that's how I know their name. Yeah, one ball Paul with two balls. <laughs> one ball Paul who has two balls. <laughs> oh, yeah, I Come got. On. I have three blue sky things, too, if anybody wants a blue sky invite. A blue sky invite? Oh. A blue ski. It's too much. I can't. It's the same thing as Twitter. No, it's too many. It's the same one. I can't do it. I'll do it if, like, the grid goes down, you know, if we're all living on the streets. Eating out of cans. Oh, if we're going to be feral, let's just be feral. Oh, Bluey's great. Bluey rules. I'm not doing good. You're not doing good. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. Two ball ball would actually probably been equally me memorable. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, but you can't say one ball ball with two balls if he has if he's two ball ball. <laughs> two balls, what a freak! No, no! why? why? <laughs> he's just coming in. He's coming in. That was Tim and Mary's wedding. That's the that's the wedding we're talking about. Oh, this is the last lap. I thought that was awesome. <laughs> I think that that's just good for morale, Red 13. No, no. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Boy, this is just a there, just there, a really bad there's showing. There's so many banana peels <laughs> everywhere. I'm getting clowned so hard. You are getting clowned on. Oh my god! You see those bananas? I didn't see them until it was too late. Man. Oh sure, sure. And now I have to live with the sting of never being at Tim and Mary's wedding for the rest of my life. Yeah, I almost got Ooh, it. Ooh, boy, that's stinky. That's rough. Uh, <laughs> that's rough. That was a little bit of a gamer moment. Ooh, I don't know how much of a gamer, gamer moment. Gamer moment. Oh, that was oh, a gamer oh. moment. <laughs> yikes, yikes. Well, I'm sure you'll make up for it. I don't know if I can make up for that. Oh, that was mine. <laughs> the better friends award. I don't know about that. That was my, uh, that was my wedding. What, what better friends award? It was the reception, yeah, it was the reception at my wedding. It was out in the middle of nowhere. I was, I was near you guys. I was that close because I was at my parents' house. It was just outside the and window in the rain looking in. You were at Michigan City? Uh, Chesterton area. Chesterton, Michigan City area, like 30 minutes away. Yeah. No! I was ju just looking at in the window, rain pouring down. Yeah, he after he didn't get to go to that wedding, he made it his life's goal. <laughs> I don't even like them. He was like, I just I'm going to become win. better friends, <laughs> and I'm going to make you move to Kansas. I <laughs> Tim and Mary can't even fucking stand him, but I just had to win. <laughs> Oh, oh, uh, you, got hit, you got hit by the train. Uh, I have been thinking, though, that it'd be... Remember when we did, like, a Crazy Monkeys reunion and we were like, we should do this every year and we never did it again? <laughs> or we did those, like, two Zoom calls during COVID and we're like, we should do this every year and we never did it again. It's because COVID's over. There's no more COVID. <laughs> hey, no one's ever to. gotten COVID. Yeah, we don't need to. Which part were you literally going to say? What? I brought COVID on. Uh, what? I, I was just, I, 
I died. <laughs> you got this. <laughs> I can't see the screen because I'm focusing on the game. We should hang out again. Can't do taste anything. <laughs> nah. You're like, yeah, you can come to dinner, but I just won't eat because I can't taste anything today. Oh, bollocks. Bollocks. Plan for the holidays. Yep. Just, no! uh, you know, Fuck! you, oh, oh, here it comes geez. again. Oh, what happened? I got there? third, but it's not enough. Just come, just come to town. Just come to town. Just, just, I'm busy that day. <laughs> 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 Hashtag prank. I can't believe Grunart Malk is up. Forget to no, you don't need to. You don't need to forget to invite mutual friend. Mutual friend. Neutral friend. That was when I started the like grumpy old. Uh, you need to face watch Grunar's hair. Grunar's. <laughs> I started the grumpy old Facebook group for grumpy old people who used to be in that grumpy old group. That grumpy old group. What was it called? The Order of the Banana or some stupid name. It was like, hey, did you used to be in the Crazy Monkeys and now you're not? You can be in this Facebook group. Joe, just sitting on the bed. I, I just sit the bed. <laughs> I just sit. No, the I was just thinking of the drunk history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Joe, ready to go. Just sitting, sitting on, on the, the bed. bed. He, he Doing was. improv. Sitting on the bed. <laughs> Waiting out the party. Waiting out the party. That's what it was. I I don't understand how there's so many people behind me that have the the power to disrupt my flow. I'm just gonna say it now. I'm gonna put this out there. I don't think we're gonna win this one. No. Uh, I don't even know this. Like, we're in uncharted territory here for me. This is true. This is... Man, listen to that sax, though. He's really wailing. Oh, my God. How yakety can you get? I mean, this is... This is rocking some butts. Oh! Ho, ho. I went turbo. <laughs> that was a very Napoleon Dynamite way to deliver that. I'm sorry. I just went turbo. <laughs> No, oh, I thought it was closer. No, oh, ow! Yeah, anytime I hear sax, anything I think of Tim. I think I've heard Tim play a saxophone one, one time. One time, just one time. And I would probably blah 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 <laughs> blah blah blah. I don't. Uh, I don't do that anymore. I guess. <laughs> I'm not going back. I don't do that shit anymore. <laughs> I'm going to jail for not you or anyone. <laughs> Oh Definitely. Um, I'm a, a, how am I in fourth place? A chilly past to do with, the, uh, with to do with the saxophone. You left that life behind. Not since the incident. I don't know how I got fourth place just now, but uh, we definitely got third place. Tied for third. You play sex <laughs> one time. You play sex one time. I and mean, everyone thinks I'm I went sax to Catholic guy. school. I know about playing sex just one time and what can happen. <laughs> You die. You die. You die forever. Man, this is not a cool color for a cup. This is the third place. Third place. It's, it's rejection. It's not gold. Ah. Ah. Well. Okay. <laughs> Well, uh, this is uh, oh. uh, this has been great. The dusty old trail is we, uh, uh, got a got an early morning, so uh, yeah, you know, I think it's better. Uh, uh, touching the door handle, which means we're out of here in about forty-five so, minutes. Well, <laughs> let me just get a hand on it. And did you know? Did you know? Oh, you know who I talked to I recently? Meant to say, oh my and god, I forgot all about it. Uh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for coming 
to the yes, stream. Thank you for being here. Thanks for being here on a Thursday night. In our I know usually you'd all be out area. drinking yourself into oblivion, yes. but tonight you, you chose to in. be here with us. You stayed in to drink yourself into oblivion. With us. Alone. Alone. <laughs> with us. With us. <laughs> you know who I saw? <laughs> okay, we got to get You know, here. that reminds me. <laughs> By the way, uh... <laughs> Because tonight will be the night that I I will fall fall for you over again. again. (laughs) So many beers at the Everytown Bar. Okay, everybody. All right. We'll see you next time. On the next time. Bye. Bye.